Assalamu alaikum. This is Raja Abdul Haq from New York City. Um, I was, I'm, really, I'm really honored and, and, and happy to be here with the Dallas community, uh, specifically in a conference that was planned in the past couple of weeks by uh, ICNA Dallas and the Council of Social Justice. Uh, it's really uh, 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 astounding and it's really amazing to see uh, a Muslim community that's specifically not Arab community from an Arab background is putting together this amazing conference in support of our brothers and sisters in Gaza. I think if anything, this effort by ICNA is symbolizing the ideas of Islam, the ideas of solidarity within the Muslim Ummah, but most importantly, for us to come together as activists and leaders and organizers to try to brainstorm and come up with ideas uh, how to truly uh, end the genocide in Gaza, but not only end the genocide and end the oppression, but to truly think about ways to empower our community locally and overseas. Because in my opinion, what's happening in Gaza is really really an extension of the international or the global uh, uh, oppression uh, against minority and then against people that are typically oppressed because of their religion or because of, because of their ethnicity. Uh, the people of Gaza are truly fighting for justice, fighting for dignity for everybody around the world. So when we come here together as a, as a community within, within Dallas community and inviting speakers from around the country, it really uh, symbolizes this idea and an extension of of that resistance against oppression and against injustice because it's really obvious that the US administration is currently complicit in this genocide in Gaza by not only supporting Israel with weaponry and money and, and, and political support, but they themselves are also partnering in this crime. So it becomes an obligation for us as Muslims and as people in this land to stand together and hold the politicians accountable, to hold the, to hold the establishment uh, accountable, to hold the empire accountable, to end its genocide in Gaza because if this effort continues in dehumanizing our people in, in Gaza it would be a, a, a roadmap for other oppressors to carry on similar ideas in India and in Kashmir in other places even here locally in the US where dehumanized communities people that are not considered from the dominant groups can be dehumanized in a way where cultural violence um, can be uh, inflict, uh, uh, inflicted upon them so it's really important for this program to come together for us to have a, this intellectual discourse about not just the history and about the current day but also think about strategies in the future that we can carry on to put pressure on power to be able to uh, force concessions to end a genocide in Gaza but also make sure that something like this doesn't happen again and, it, and this effort is only possible by the work of ICNA and the work of other Muslim organizations that are constantly uh, sacrificing their time and their efforts to unite the Muslim community for us to work together and to help our people overseas in Gaza.